the girl is looking a little sleepy today, but it's okay. We back at it. Good day, my beautiful people. We're back up in this house once again with another video. We back at it. We're continuing our Immortal Songs journey today. We're checking out their track Backwoods. I'm curious. I'm interested. Um, you know, I love, you know, these Immortal Songs series have been a blast to film, you know, and to watch all of the performances. And, you know, and especially, you know, going in that chronological order and everything. It's beautiful. I love it. I enjoy it. It's it's a great fun and it's a great time. So today we're checking out their performance of Backwoods. I see a cello. I love a good cello. So we're going to take a look. We're going to talk music. We're going to see the growth of Mamamoo. And, you know, everything. So let's get it. Let's watch it. Mamamoo Backwoods. We also hear this within the medley as well. And I enjoyed this section within the medley, so it's awesome to see like the full performance of it. Yo, it's difficult to rap on the piano and arpeggio, so kudos. I love that harmony. So simple, but so good. Okay, traditional vibes, okay. With like kind of traditional style vocal, like background vocals, awesome. Kind of gives me, like this specific session gives me a little bit of King King's Olean vibe a little bit. It's great. Wow, I love this arrangement. Is this my one of my favorite arrangements? Like style-wise? Ooh, okay. Imagine that A has those hairs, whatever, sang by like a choir. That would have sounded dope. Okay. I 
lot of improvisation. Alright, the vocals is awesome. Dang. Beautiful four part harmony. There's a lot of air coming through, like within the vocals. Like you can hear, like the airstream. Beautiful. I like it. Uh, this is probably like, like band arrangement wise, like right. This probably is one of one of one of my favorites and something that I would re-listen to right when it comes to like specifically like focusing on the band right and how everything is you know arranged within the instruments and instrumentation in general so from that kind of point of view i, I think that this this is one of one of my favorites you know and and this would be one of those arrangements that you know that i would want to you know figure out more and kind of, you know, pick on like every single detail, you know, what's what's happening, you know, within it. But I do love like the aspect of the cello there, right? And kind of like that string arrangement kind of point of view. It's beautiful. I also love the backup vocals and the lady who was singing, you know, that those eas, heas, uh, you know, within that kind of traditional, more traditional kind of a manner, right? uh it's beautiful like i can like i could like actually imagine if that part that she sang you know was actually like sung by a choir uh or multiple people you know kind of i think that might have you know maybe elevated like the performance a little bit even more even though it was awesome and it was really really cool um but you know i feel like that that would have been a really interesting and kind of cool cherry on top you know, if multiple people would have, you know, sung that part. Um, Cause I feel like that, that that kind of, that section that she was singing, right? Kind of works as a hook, as, as the hook for the track and like the initial performance, right? <laughs> and uh, I feel like it would be cool if that would be, you know, you know like kind of would have been like emphasized a little bit more. Uh, you know, because it's a great part. It's a very, very meaningful part, right? And it's, it's like, there's a reason why is it, it is a hook for the track because you know, it's it's just something that that you will remember. And I like like me after listening to once, like I can already you know hear it in my head, you know, like, da, 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 right? You know, and it's just it's it's gonna get stuck into your head. So. Uh, and and they could you know maybe emphasize emphasize that that tiny little detail maybe even more but overall i love it this is awesome you know it's super simple you know there's no choreo you can sit there enjoy the arrangement itself you can enjoy you know everybody who's there on the stage you can enjoy the, like the vocals and everything y'all know i i love mama move for their harmonization on stage you know and i've said that you know they're they're my favorite kind of live harmonizers when it comes to you know live stages um and 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 they're awesome harmonizers and you know and if like if you you know if you sing yourself or if you you know uh take classes you know if you study vocals i feel like they can be a, a really really cool example to learn from right because it's it's very interesting how they you know approach harmony and uh how well um they are able to adapt to each other when it comes to vocals right and you can hear that kind of synergy between you know all of them right and it's just it just blends well together and it's super super awesome um but yeah i love i love you know sometimes you just need a super simple arrangement sometimes you need you know a super simple kind of setup right with no crazy you know choreo no crazy like stage show and and you know in performances like this where you know they're just sitting down right they're singing their heart out and everything and it's just great that's all you need 
again, right? Because I've said this in many other videos, you know, when we've spoken about, you know, other um, other artists and other groups, right? And other tracks and performances that sometimes the most simplest things are the most genius things, right? And a lot of times you don't have to complicate things to great music. And this, I feel like, is a, is a great example for that. Um, so... Definitely if you haven't checked this out definitely do if you are I feel like if you are a Music enthusiast if you are a music lover as much as I am I feel like this is definitely one of those songs and arrangements that you can take a lot from You know whether you're a music lover whether you're whether you're a music, you know musician yourself uh, and uh, it, it's it's, it's really really cool. This is definitely one of those performances and one of those arrangements that I feel like everyone should, you know, uh, listen to at least once in their life, right? And and if you are, you know, really really passionate about music, you know, as much as I am, and if you do enjoy, you know, nerding out, you know, about music and 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 all music, right? This is definitely one of those songs and arrangements and performances that definitely should be saved within you know anyone's playlist um because uh, you know it's simple it's emotional right it is um kind of sentimental you know because you can also see like the lyrics there on the screen <laughs> and you're just reading it and you're just listening and it's just like like the sentiment and the emotion and the thought you know and you know with the added raps and everything it's beautiful but you know i mean they're they're awesome at what they're doing so uh and and there's a reason why everyone you know loved them so much on that show and um and i approve i love this this is definitely something that i will be re-listening to and just picking more details at so um yeah definitely if you haven't checked it out definitely do if you haven't added it to your playlist definitely do like it's a must you gotta add it to your playlist so yeah and i will leave you to that always remember to be good be kind rock and roll and i'll see y'all very very soon with a new video cheers